Hello everyone, today I will be going to teach you about the concept of DHCP server, how it works in a Cisco packet tracer. Before I start, you should know what is a DHCP server. Here DHCP server means dynamic host configuration protocol. It automatically assigns IP addresses to all the PCs present in the same network or in different network. To understand this, I have took, my, took here three networks. This being my first network, network 1, this is my network 2, this is my network 3 and I will be assigning different different IP addresses to all these three networks. So this question came in my exam that keep the network 1 IP addresses as this class E address and network 2 as this class A address and network 3 as this is also my class A address. So let's begin. Your first step should be click on the server, go to configuration and write the default gateway. Now note, the default gateway that you will be writing here will be the default gateway of only this network 1. So I am writing here a 192.56.25.1. Now this is also a step to be noted that only the first three numbers that are present in the network which is provided to us will not be changed. Only the last digits can be changed. Now this DNS server being a part of this server in network 1. So this is 192.56.25.2 now go to fast ethernet 0 ipv4 address here ipv4 address will be similar to this network 1 which means the server will have its own ip address individual ip the ip will be 192.56.25.3 now our next step will be go to this services make it on and default gateway will be similar to that we have done previously 192.56.20 5.1 and DNS over will also be same 192.56.25.2 now we will keep 10 IP addresses to be reserved now we will start from 25.11 save it after saving it make server pool name change to B now look the default gateway is now now we will be assigning the IP addresses to second network so second network has IP different, which is a class A address. So we will write here 55.0.0.0.1. Note the first three digits will not be only the last digits can be changed. DNS server as same. Start IP address 55 0, 0. Keeping 10 as reserved IP address. Note. This is a class A address, so they will be changed in separate mask, separate mask as well. This is a class A address, its separate mask is 1 times 2, 5, 5, and 3 times 0. Add it. Now coming to network third, which is IP address 114.0.0.1. DNS server is same. You can keep default gateway of any network your wish, but you should remember it. To make it simple, I have chosen the one as my default gateway. Add it. Now, before adding it, change this 114. And as I've same, add. Oh, change the pool name. Add. After doing this, close this. Now, go to router. Now, as, this, as you know, this router is connected to network 1. So, it will have default gateway of 56.25.1. In the same step, this router 1 and router 2. 55.0.0. Network 3. 114.0.0.1 Closing it. Now we will make the connection. I have to, uh, the connection will be through this dynamic routing. I have made the video of dynamic routing in my previous lecture. So please watch it out and if you like it, like and share and subscribe as well.
serial to serial to after doing this go to this router serial to now you can change ip to any ip you want to give now this network 1 network 2 network 3 are different concept now we will give hopes hope as ip addresses 10.0.0.1 10.0.0.2 You should follow the same step as I am following in your exam. Eleven dot zero dot zero dot one. You can give any IP to this path as I feel ten eleven twelve is uh, easy to me so i keep it as 10 11 12 ip i've given it 12.0.1 if you're not getting this if you, you should watch my previous video which is on dynamic routing using 3 network and this is connected to serial 3 so 11.0.0.2 .0 .0 .0. so if you're not getting this you should watch my previous video of dynamic routing using 3 networks After doing this, now our final step is forming the RIP, which is Routing Information Protocol, which is also known as Dynamic Routing. Now note, this router is connected to two paths. I should write here. This is my end path, 11 path, 12 path. Now, perform the RIP. This router is connected to this network, so I will be giving it. You should know that the default gateway of this network 1, which is 156.0. A note that in RIP, you should always type the common IP which is present in every PC. So this is the common 156 to 25. It will be common in every PC in this network one. So make it add. Now this is connected to two hopes or path 10 and 12. So write here 10.0.0.0. 12.0.0. .0 .0 .0. I've kept here 10.0.0.0.1, .0 .0 not 2 because this this part 10.0.0. It's common in every IP so I've kept it as here. Now do the same step with the router one and router two. It's connected to 55.0.0.0. Add and it's connected to 10 and 11 path. 10 11 path. Now go to router 2, it's connected to network 3, 114.0, 0 .0, 0 .0, 0.0.0, add, now is this, this is connected to 12 and the 11 path, add, after performing this RIP, now the final step is write the code. We will write the co code which is the CLI command line interface so that every PC which will be shifted from static routing to dynamic routing DHCP, it will send the message to the server. So go to every router CLI and write this code. Your first step will be 
write two times exit. Now, you should never write code when it's so empty here. Press enter one time. Now look, you should always write code when it shows router and hash. So right here, en, which means enable, enable nar type, config terminal, right here, int fa0 slash 0, ip, helper address the ip helper address you will be writing here will be the only individual server and that we gave in ipv4 which is 192.56.25.3 after doing this two times exit do the same code to both this router two times exit one enter en config terminal in fa0 slash 0 we are writing in fa0 slash 0 because when we connect this switch to this server it has a port nip ethernet 0 slash 0 this is the symbol of it ip helper address 192.56.25.3 2 times exit CLI 2 times exit monitor EN config terminal 0 slash 0 help address 192.56.25.3 you will be writing this code in every router you are writing your ip help address this because the server name has an individual ip which is this so every pc will be sending message or pdu to this server only two times exit closing it uh, all the process of assigning IP and writing code is done now. Now it's the process of performing. Show all learn edit filters DHCP. Close this. Now it's the output time. I want to send this PC7 message to this server. So click on this. Now note, we should not send this PDU or message and assign them. It will not show because because we have not provided any IP. It will only perform on the basis of DHCP. So delete this scenario. Delete this scenario. Now click on this any PC. PC7. I have clicked on PC7. Desktop IP configuration. Change it to DHCP. You will see requesting IP address. Now run. Now switch is here acting as a broadcasting device because it doesn't know where to send the message. So it will send to all the PCs. So the server has received the message now it will send back to the same pc from where it has come look it has arrived see how it's done Thank you. If you like my video, please share, subscribe and like.